Today on 16-bit game reviews, I shoot a spaceship. I shoot some more spaceships. And finally, I shoot a group of big spaceships in a row. Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing a mini review of Bosconian for the arcades. You are a spaceship. You shoot both forward and backwards at the same time, which is an amazing gameplay feature which every single other spaceship shooter should have because you'll never be killed from behind ever again. Your goal is to shoot all the green bases because they're not red enough. There's a bit of red in them, but they're not completely red, so you have to destroy all of them until they are red, which involves explosions. You have to survive as long as possible, and I can only make it to stage 3, so if there is a bonus stage in here, that'd be cool. But I don't know, because I only can make it to stage 3, where the bases will fire at you with missiles, and everything is coming to kill you, even the meteorites. They're just waiting there to kill you, painfully in a fireball explosion, like everything back in the 8-bit era. Please sit down and watch this interactive video which will tell you how points are given in the game. The video is interactive because there's a comment section down below which you can ask questions about points. If you have any questions, please, our team full of monkeys will respond to you as quickly as possible. However, they are anxious because every time they get a question, they get a banana. So if you do not put a question in the bottom, you are starving monkeys. You have a joystick which moves up, down, left, and right in a button that shoots lasers, both forward and backwards, which is awesome. Why don't all video games have lasers that shoot both forward and backwards? That'd be the greatest gun of all time because you'll never be killed. Unless. Oh. The sound effects in this game are brilliant, especially at the time, because it actually replicates human speech for, I think, three or four occasions. There is music, a little jingle when you start a stage, and that's it. The explosions are amazing. The... Yeah, it's basically it. You have three sound effects, shootings, explosions, and the voice. Which is... I still love that voice. It's fantastic, especially for... At, especially at that time. The graphics are brilliant, especially for the era. However, I only have one complaint. The spaceships are green, not red. And every time I try to make them red, they just blow up. So I have to go and try again. Yes, very. Like Galaga, it is a very well-made shooter, which stands even today. If you can get your hands on an arcade machine of this, you'll be very pleased. Or if you can get your hands on any Namco Museum collection, you'll be very pleased. You can purchase the Namco Museum collection via our store at 16-Bit Video Game Store on the eBay's. It's a wonderful store which has a variety of games. Not as big as it used to be, but we still have games. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like us on the Facebooks to go get more updates for more video game reviews. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching.